if you're a Batman fan, I've got some fantastic news for you. If you're a DC Comics fan that maybe isn't interested in Batman, I guess the news probably isn't so good. We have a new creative team on Detective Comics. This is a, a comic book writer I've been praising for like two or three years on the channel. He's been getting bigger and bigger profile projects. Ram V is taking over Detective Comics after a very successful run on Catwoman. Obviously, he's been on Swamp Thing for quite a while. Done some really fantastic comic books on the indie scene. And if you are not really familiar with Ram V's work, I've got a list of like four or five stories I think you should go out there and read. And you'll see that the man is absolutely a genius when it comes to comic books, at least in my opinion. We also have a new series coming out that's tying into this Black Adam movie that's actually going to feature Hawkman. That's shocking. We never get any Hawkman comics, but we're getting at least a one shot. If you're a diehard Batman fan, and you probably haven't been liking Mariko Tamaki's take on Detective Comics for, for a while now, Shadows of the Bat was absolutely dookie, and it's, it's time for a change. Mariko Tamaki was never really the right fit for Batman. Ram V is going to be a much better fit. So let's get into those details. And at the end, I'm going to tell you some Ram V comics you should be looking out for. And I'm also going to give you the details in this Hawkman series. DC's Detective Comics is getting a new creative team this July. DC announced writer Ram V and artist Raphael Albuquerque will begin their run with Detective Comics 1062, taking over for the current creative team of Mariko Tamaki, Cena Grace, Nadia Sheamus, and David Lampum. Artist Ivan Rice will also join the title for a four-issue run on Detective Comics 1066 through 1069. DC further describes the plot as a gothic story and terrifying mystery that sees actual demons walking the streets of Gotham City, drawn by an unknown musical source. The arc titled Gotham Nocturne is currently set at four issues, the first of which is appropriately entitled Overture. We already had fantastic news that Chip Zdarsky, one of the real solid writers out there at Marvel and DC now, is taking over Batman, and now this is even better news. In my opinion, this is going to be the best one-two punch of writers writing Batman and Detective Comics at the same time in several, several, several years, perhaps even a decade. These are really high-quality comic book writers. These Detective Comics stories from Ram V are likely to be a lot more horror in nature. That is really one of his specialties. Obviously, he was doing Justice League Dark before doing Swamp Thing. Those are kind of the stories that he's really well well known for. Kind of interpersonal conflicts. You know, the demon within, obviously, they will be out on the streets according to some of the information that we do have. But I believe this will be a much more of like a character study on Bruce Wayne and complement the mainline Batman series from Chip Zdarsky really well. It's going to be a different take on the character, utilizing different aspects of the character and exploring new things about Bruce Wayne in Gotham City, which I'm really excited about. And hopefully we can see Sumit Kumar, who's a comic book artist from India that's worked with Ray and V in the past. They've done some really fantastic stuff together. We can maybe see him come in here, maybe do an arc here or there that should really highlight what Ray and V is doing. Although I do think Raphael Albuquerque is a really good choice as a creative pairing with Ray and V. I think he will highlight his stories really, really well. And this will be something very interesting. It's going to be a nice, dark, gothic take on Batman. We have too much Batman, and I wish they would have put him on another character. I'm not going to really complain about Ram V on a Batman story because I do think his take will be good. We do have some more information from Ram V himself. Quote, it's a thrill to be writing a title with the kind of history and pedigree that Detective Comics has. When the opportunity first came across my desk, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. For me, the draw of Batman as a character and that of the world around him had always been the blanket of tragedy that lay above it all. So with that perspective... Gotham Nocturne is a quintessentially Batman story told with the aesthetics of a gothic opera. I'm going to be honest with you, the gothic opera part at the end there doesn't really get me all that excited for the story, and neither does that cover, which obviously is accentuating or highlighting those aspects of the story, which obviously are really important to Ram V. They put it on the cover for a reason. Ram V has certainly combined comics and music a lot in the past. I'm not surprised he's taking this approach. The problem is, is that Tom King does this a lot. Poetry, music, classic literature, stuff like that. He incorporated that a lot into his Batman run and continues to do in Batman Catwoman, which we'll talk about tomorrow. And it hasn't really been that successful. So I do think it sucks that this trope has really been overused by Tom King himself and kind of abused for Batman fans. I have no doubt that Ram V will do this much better than Tom King, because in my opinion, he's a far better writer. Obviously, Tom King's more acclaimed and more well-known, but I think Ram V right here, right now, is the better writer. So I am excited about this, even though there are a couple of points within the information that have been given that don't exactly get me 
really, really juiced up about the comic. But we do have the full synopsis from DC. Let's hear what they have to say there and draw a few final conclusions before we talk about Hawkman. Starting with Detective Comics 1062 on sale July 26th, Batman finds himself in a strange, dark Gotham City as he's pulled into a high Gothic story like nothing he's seen or heard before. The story starts with Gotham Nocturne Part 1 of 4, Overture. Something is terribly wrong with Batman. No matter the test Bruce takes, nor the numbers he counts, the greatest detective in the world can't pin down the source of his creeping dread of his own inner demons and a looming mortality. He's not alone in the grips of this terror, as it seems real demons are creeping through the shadows of Gotham City, answering the clarion call of a strange melody that haunts Gotham and seems to be turning its denizens into something else. The curtains are rising on a new terrifying mystery as Batman tries to figure out what's happening to both the city he protects and his mind in this lush operatic mystery. I think one of the really cool aspects of Batman that we don't really see explored is how much he really is intrinsically tied to Gotham City, not just with the protection of Gotham City, but the two characters in a lot of ways mirror each other. Like Gotham City is like an embodiment of the inner soul of, of Bruce Wayne, in my mind, the way that the two kind of interact with each other. And I do think Gotham City is in a setting, at least in Batman comics. I think it is a, a vital character, maybe the most important character outside of Batman. And I think the way that the two are connected is really important. I imagine Ram V is going to highlight that. And he's going to bring some new, interesting horror vibes and aspects to the story in Gotham City and Batman's life that I think readers are really going to connect with and they're going to be excited about. Will it sell as well as Batman with Chip Zdarsky? No, that's that's the flagship title. But I think this is going to do really well and it is going to help elevate Ram V up to superstar status. Detective Comics is the biggest opportunity that Ram V has ever gotten in his comic book writing career. This could make it a real name for him. This is how Scott Snyder became the Batman writer and a legendary Batman writer at that. You know, these type of opportunities, when they come up, you really need to cash in on them. You need to put your best foot forward. And I imagine Ram V is going to do that. We saw what he did with Catwoman. So he can work within this mythos. We can work within Gotham City. And I think he's going to be drawn to aspects of Bruce Wayne that are really interesting. Hopefully he does highlight the detective aspects of Bruce Wayne, that would be a welcome change. And I think a lot of people are going to like this. As I mentioned earlier, I do have some recommendations. If you're not familiar with Ramby, maybe you didn't read his Catwoman run. These are some of the comics I would go out there and read that will really give you an idea of who Ramby is. And they are all worth your time and money. First up, I would read These Savage Shores from Vault Comics. This is the first story of his I ever read. This is absolutely brilliant. This is one of the best modern comic stories you're ever going to read in your life, especially if you're a horror fan. There's another comic story out there called Brigand Ruin of Thieves. It's a sequel to an earlier story. I wouldn't read the earlier one because the art was so bad, but Brigand Ruin of Thieves, the sequel from Action Labs, is absolutely fantastic. It's a really cool fantasy story. The Many Deaths of Layla Star from Boom Studios came out recently. That's another really trippy, really deep comic that I do think will have some of the same vibes we're going to get in Detective Comics. If you're a DC fan, if you didn't read his Future State Swamp Thing 1 and 2, that was easily the best story to come out of Future State, and it is nearly a perfect comic. The art is fantastic, the story is really good, and in my opinion, it goes up there with one of the greatest Swamp Thing stories ever told. And finally, I definitely recommend his Catwoman run from issue number 25 to 38. Lasted about a year, and we'll give you some good insight as to what Ram B can do in Gotham City and with these characters. Definitely go check those out if you're interested in Ram V. Now, there are some other fans I mentioned earlier. If you're a Hawkman fan, you probably feel like you've been abused by DC Comics. We haven't had a series come out since Robert Venditti. He just lost the Round Robin Tournament. Thankfully, we did get an announcement today that we're getting a one-shot at least of Hawkman associated with the Black Adam movie. DC will launch a series of one-shots centered on the Justice Society of America, Set in the world of DC films and featuring characters to be seen in Black Adam, the first such special coming in July will be Black Adam, the Justice Society Secret Files Hawkman Number 1, featuring a lead story from writer Kevin Scott and penciler Scott Eaton. And the synopsis reads, Long ago, Hawkman was a leader of the Justice Society, but what is he now? Still a hero or another relic in a museum? Everything changes when he finds himself haunted by not only the past, but also a vengeful spirit of a wayward thief. Will this gentleman ghost be the death of Hawkman, or will he deliver a warning from beyond the grave? A road to Black Adam begins here. This will be a new take on Black Adam. It's not going to be like any Black Adam we've ever seen. The actor is Aldous Hodge. 
I'm interested to see what happens here, and I really do like Gentleman Ghost. I think he's one of the the most underrated villains in all of DC Comics, and he's a fantastic foil for Hawkman himself. So I'm excited that they're putting that character in there. Not sure exactly how this is going to tie in there. We do see Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Black Adam on the cover. I imagine he's going to be in the story. And they have retconned the characters of Black Adam and Hawkman to kind of include a lot of history in Egypt. So you can see how these two are probably going to connect within the movie series as well. If they take some of those those aspects of the characters with them into the DC films, this should be perfectly fine. I don't think Kevin Scott is a real huge talent. I don't think he's ever going to be a superstar, but he's not a bad writer either. He's not going to write you a bad comic book. This should be plenty serviceable. And if you're a Hawkman fan, hopefully it's an appetizer for bigger things to come. So that's the big news. Another huge talent is writing Batman in an ongoing. Ram is taking over Detective Comics right after Chip Zdarsky becomes the main writer on Batman. And we are finally getting a Hawkman comic. It's been a while. It's only a one shot, but hopefully we get more Hawkman comics in the future. Speaking of Ram V, about a year and a half ago, Perch and I sat down. We talked about six writers that were really up and coming and to keep an eye on. Now, one of them is writing action comics, Philip Kennedy Johnson, and another is going to be writing Batman and Detective Comics being Ram V. Definitely check this video out. One of these writers that we highlight, I think, has already quit writing comic books. He viewing, but there's some other good quality talent in there, and you can see why these writers are on these big projects now.